Hi, uh, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an SSL certificate in Ubuntu 20. So let's get started. Uh, I'm in my EC2 dashboard, so I can see all my resources here. I'm going to create a new uh, instance for Ubuntu machine. In this uh, quick start list, I'm going to choose Ubuntu. It is Ubuntu 2020.04. That's the latest version at the moment of when I'm recording this video. I give it a name of the server. Then I'm going to use a key pair. I already have some key pairs. So I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use uh, create a new security group. I'm going to allow publicly SSH anywhere. Allow HTTP, HTTPS. In the advanced, I'm going to choose an IAM role that I have created previously so that I can connect to that instance. So now if everything is okay, then let's launch an instance. View all instances. Click here, I should be able to see the instance here. Okay, looks good. Now it might take around uh, 30 seconds to a minute. So let's wait for a minute and let's see what happens now. Meanwhile, it's becoming ready. I'm going to show you what I'm going to run. So uh, it's basically pretty simple. I have a blog written on what are the columns and commands I'm going to run. So basically, first to do APT get update. Then I'm going to add a uh, APT repository for PHP. That is probably I'm going to use 8.1 rather than 8.0 because 8.1 is the latest one. So then system CTL restart FC2, enable FC2, creating a virtual host, and then I'm going to set up a virtual host with pointing my domain, install sandbot. So quite a lot of things. Let's get started. I'm just copying this command. And uh, I'm going to use the connect button here. And let's refresh this page one more time. Mm, yeah, everything is ready. Let's connect. And it is being loaded. Uh, I'm not sure today my internet seems a bit slow. So it is taking time to load the systems manager. Okay, maybe I reconnect it again. Let's see. Hopefully something went wrong. Mm -hmm. Still loading. Let's see. Okay, it took some time, not sure why, but it is now 
showing. So I'm going to take root privilege, create the screen, make the screen slightly bigger. Okay. Then I'm going to paste the first command. Okay, then go to this blog article and copy the second one. Clear this screen. Okay, that is adding the repository for PHP. Yes, I want to do the repository. Okay, the next one is uh, installing PHP 8.1. I'm going to install 8.1 rather than 8.0 because there is a major change. So, it's been almost ready, just a moment. Okay, it is taking time, that's okay. Then we are going to copy the next command. That is restarting the Apache and enabling the Apache. Okay, that's been done. Let's restart the Apache and enable Apache 2. Then I'm going to copy this virtual host example and use it. And okay. so I'm going to use a name like uh, XYZ, no server alias. HTML and all is okay. So let's copy this command. Then I'm going to uh, create a new used file. Copy first. Yeah. This will be proper with Vim. Probably have to use Nano. That's better. Mm -hmm. That is. Due to my screen resolutions, uh, there were some issues with layout, but now it's okay. I mean, nano editor, this not fail, but that should be okay. I'm just going to copy this part. Command for paste is like uh, this here. Save it. And then, uh, Control X, yes. Okay, 
verify the changes has been arrived properly. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay that's been done. Now let's create a PHP info and let's see what happens here. I'm going to now restart the Apache. So, system CTL restart Apache. Now, what I'm going to do is grab the IP address and set the DNS. Okay, that needs to be, that is done. Now what I'm going to do is install Sartbot. So pretty simple. I just copy the command here, paste it. Then I'm going to install Sartbot Classic. Then I'm going to run this Sartbot Apache command. I'm giving my email address. Let's clear the screen and let's go to that. So it should be open one dot x y z slash that should be it right eight point one twenty fourteen connection is secure certificate is valid. Let's verify again. Connection is built, certainly is valid. All those things are okay in three months' time. So, that being said, uh, there is an example of where we can install SSL certificate in Ubuntu 2022.04. I think this is the latest at this moment, like 2023. So, I hope this helps you to get started with Ubuntu SSL, let's encrypt Apache PHP. If there's any questions, please put a comment in the video description. I will leave the link in the description so that you can copy the comments. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.